And our first speaker today is Larry Kim. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with Larry, he's one of the best marketers out there. Uh, he created a company called Wordstream. Wordstream got acquired by Gantt. Uh, and then from there, he created a company called Mobile Monkey. But he's a super smart, tactical marketer. Uh, he tests more than most people I've ever seen. And he figures out the best ways to get traffic from any single channel out there. Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a machine. Uh, every time I've seen him speak, I'm just like, I, I can't make, take notes fast enough, so get ready. Um, it's going to be a lot of information, probably a lot of information overload. So to Neil's point, just try to take one thing away, and uh, it should be really good for you. So without further ado, we're going to let Larry up and uh, enjoy. Good morning. Thank you, thank you very much for uh, coming in this morning out there on Saturday. It's a, kind of a commitment. Uh, first, I want to just thank Eric and, and Neil for you know paying for the event and and uh, you know organizing everything. It's, it's uh, that's really great. Um, so uh, thank you guys. Um, the topic of today's discussion is my top five uh, favorite you know Facebook ad marketing hacks for for 2020 and beyond. Um, my name is Larry Kim, and uh, I will be your speaker today. Before getting into all the the detailed hacks and tips and tricks, I thought I would. Uh, briefly introduce myself. Um, I'm from Canada, from a <laughs> from a, from a kind of a place called Winnipeg, which is super famous for being colder than Mars half of the year. Uh, <laughs> the uh, uh, if you've read my content, I'm really obsessed with unicorns. I know you might be thinking, oh my God, unicorns! They've jumped the shark, like they're on like freaking Starbucks coffee and everything, but like I was like way ahead of this trend for like, you know, 12 years ago, even before of like My Little Pony and stuff like that. Uh, I'm famous for, for starting a company called Wordstream. I started this in my 20s in, in 2008 out of a bakery uh, because I had free Diet Coke refills and, uh, you know, free Wi-Fi. It was kind of like this WeWork, but, you know, before WeWork. Uh, today it's, it's over 300 people um, managing... Um, uh, about a, over a billion dollars of ad spend for tens of thousands of customers worldwide. And I, that was my first venture. It was really fun growing the, the venture from literally nothing to about 55 million in revenues last year, 16 million in earnings. And uh, I, I sold that business actually just uh, one year ago today uh, to Gannett for $150 million. And you know, sometimes people ask me, like, what's that like to do that? Um, honestly, it's kind of a relief because, you know, like a lot of marketers, I spent a lot of time <laughs> blogging about how to, like, you know, make money and how to grow your business, and it would have been totally embarrassing if that didn't work out. Um, <laughs> uh, and and uh, we're back in, back in business again, working on a new new company called Mobile Monkey. It's uh, it, it, it's basically uh, in the chat marketing space, and I hope to talk a little bit about that, about that today. All right, enough about me. I'm talking about our story. We're talking about my top five favorite Facebook marketing hacks for 2019, 2020, and beyond. Uh, basically, um, here's the thing. Um, Facebook knows that the newsfeed isn't the future of Facebook, okay? Uh, the, at F8, that was abundantly clear every single, uh, you know, every single session at F8 was talking about how the newsfeed is sort of like not the next thing. And uh, the reason is because, um, you know, on one hand, uh, Facebook is getting in so much trouble for like live streaming these murderous, um, you know, terrorist activities, uh, and, and and on the other hand, they're getting you know crucified for censoring you know all this questionable material. And so basically, they don't want to be they don't want to be caught in the middle. This is it's, it's like a huge existential uh, uh, risk to their uh, to their business model, and uh, they've declared that we, we need to get out of this business of, of, of trying to figure out, you know, policing the content because there's just t too much. And the future of Facebook is actually, uh, you know, is, is in private groups, smaller, you know, small private groups and, and messaging, all right? Uh, so hopefully that's pretty obvious. Um, I think uh, w w it, it brings up a question though, which is uh, marketers, you know, we're familiar with how to market in a newsfeed environment. It's like, you know, you, you put ads and organic content in the newsfeed and people see it. It, it was pretty straightforward. Um, the question becomes, you know, if groups and messaging is the future of Facebook, how on earth do we um, do marketing in a, you know, private messaging future? And so that's, what, that's kind of the topic for today, like forward looking in terms of like, what are the ways we can, we can tackle this? Um, if you're new to messaging, um, just a show of hands here, how many of you, you know, are, have done a lot of messaging marketing, you know. Oh, you guys are the vanguard here. It's usually it's like crickets. It's usually it's like, 
you know, three, four, five of you, but um, basically it's, it's kind of like a, a combination of um, email marketing because you can do push notifications, but it's also like a landing page optimization because uh, the, unlike email, the content is interactive, so that people can uh, engage and respond to the, to the content just as you would engage with like a form on a website. So like registrations, surveys, um, appointment reminders, uh, segmentation and, and drip, drip campaigns, all this is, is possible in messaging. Um, so uh, if, if, in my opinion, I think this is like a, a core growth marketing area to be focusing on for the next five to 10 years, just like how I don't know, um, infographics were the thing to focus on in 2012, 2013, uh, et cetera. Like these growth channels, they have sort of a life cycle. Um, so how, do, how does it work? So basically, uh, in terms of messaging, the, how it used to work was people would message your business by clicking that button, send message, and those messages would then get stuck in a uh, dumping ground known as the, the page inbox. And, and uh, you can see there, there's a lot of unanswered uh, messages, and you know, maybe if your social media manager was very vigilant, they would go into there and, and, and kind of respond to those inquiries. Uh, that was not a very great approach. So uh, what happened about two years ago is, you know, so, so this is just describing how uh, an operator could go into the Facebook in inbox and manually re respond to those messages. Um, but um, be because that was so unscalable, especially if you, if you do any significant amount of, of Facebook marketing, uh, they've released an API for Messenger about just over two years ago, allowing third-party developers like MobileMonkey to create solutions to um, to, uh, to, to manage this at scale. So the problem is like this, this technology, it's actually not in Business Manager. So if you're, if, if you're looking for where's all the messaging tools in, in Business Manager, like it, it hasn't been released yet. Uh, it's, it's all third party integrations with, through their API. So typically what marketers do is they'll use a, a chatbot, like a messenger chatbot company like, like uh, MobileMonkey to, uh, we, in the, we then use the messenger API to pull in all your contacts, your contact list of everyone who's ever messaged your page in the past. And then it looks a lot like MailChimp where you, uh, you can do uh, you know, chat blasting, you know, broadcasts to, to your subscriber list. Um, and and um, I can, can kind of describe to you how this works. It's, it's a lot like MailChimp where you compose the message that you're trying to send. So that's like you know, text or, or, or an image. Uh, we, I call this chat blasting. Uh, and basically, you then specify a, a recipient list of all the all the fans who you want to send the messages to, and then boom, you're just fire away. You know, schedule the message or or or, or blast the message. You know, as, as you will. Um, so. Uh, this is an example of, of, a, of a webinar registration. Uh, like, so like event notification is, is, is a pretty cool use case for uh, messaging. You know, anything that you do email marketing for, you, can, you could probably do with messaging, uh, it, except that this is way more engaging than anything you can do in, 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 uh, in, in email because that button there, it doesn't just go to a website. Uh, it's actually going to uh, you know, a dialogue that, that kind of qualifies you within the messaging uh, application. Now, uh, an another use case for messaging is blog blasting. Uh, so <laughs> uh, since this is Neil's event, I just wanted to show here that <laughs> whenever I do a blog post, uh, I blast it out uh, to my, my subscribers. Neil Patel is one of my subscribers. I don't know how he got ended up on my list, but he, I know that he reads my messages periodically because I can see his little avatar kind of advancing as I create the content. Thank you, Neil. Uh, so the question becomes, uh, is, is this um, is a spam, you know, kind of feels a little spammy or, or does it? Uh, and, and I just want to give you some, some data on kind of comparing the click-through rates and open rates for messaging versus email. Um, so as I was mentioning, I do blog blasting both by email and, and chat uh, every time I produce a new piece of content. Um, so this is for the same campaigns, um, you know, for the same dates. Uh, and, and basically what you can see is the open rates uh, from the messaging channel are about you know three times higher you know instead of 20 percent it's more like 60 percent uh, and the open rates are you know almost 10 times higher instead of like two percent it's closer to 20 percent so uh, the click click rates are, and open rates are, are and are so high uh, that leads me to believe that this isn't spammy right because sure maybe I could trick you into reading a message by, by triggering the push notification, but then why would you click on the thing? You know, you know what I mean? Like, why, why would you be 10 times more likely to click on it? And so uh, th this is um, 
I think this is very significant because like where, where do you find you know channels that have 10x improvements um, you know like that, that those are rare uh, basically messaging in my view it's 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 fundamentally less spammy than than anything email ever was uh, email I can just go to zoom info and buy a list of CMOs you know and you know, just fire up a woodpecker and, and start off some kind of like a drip campaign. You know, like you, know, you can't you can't do that in messaging. There's a rigid uh, permission model, uh, and 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 um, you 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 can't message people who haven't messaged you first. So I can only respond to messages, uh, and um, uh, the the content's more more interactive, and people. Um, can just type stop, and then you're forbidden from messaging them un un unless they re-engage with you. Um, so that's kind of the overview of, of, of how to do messaging marketing. Uh, but I wanted to give you a little uh, quick tutorial on how to uh, how to structure these campaigns um, because there's there's sort of an art and 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 and, and strategies here. Um, so what you're looking at here is a, uh, a chatbot conversation. It's a user interacting with a chatbot, not a human being. So it's, 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 it's kind of like a, someone's filling out a form. Uh, and, the, and the question that people have is like, how the heck do you make these things? Because it does, does it require a lot of coding? And it's actually, it's, uh, they're actually pretty simple. Um, as I was saying before, typically uh, you just use a chatbot builder like Mobile Monkey. Uh, and there's two types of content that you can, you can send to a user. There's dynamic and static content. Static content, that's sort of your vanilla text and images. Uh, and you can get more exotic by, by you know, sending just stuff like this, and, and when, when you, you you fire that to the user, it gets it gets rendered in their messaging application as su as such. Um, pretty pretty straightforward. Um, and there's a couple other kind of ways of, of jazzing that up a, a bit by, by embedding PDF files like gift cards or or videos or uh, attachments. You can, you can you might as well just instead of sending a link to a website, you can just you can just send send the content. In fact, if you if you look at the uh, the slide deck, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but it's it, it you know the, the, these sl the slide decks um, that's that URL will fire the, the the slide deck to you as a as an attachment. Uh, so it, it's uh, Bitly slash Marketing School dash tw uh, tw 2019. Um, so then, what about these dynamic interactive forms? These are super easy. All you need to do is um, kind of fill out a form where you specify like what are the questions you want to ask and what are the different multiple choice answers or free form answers that you want to you want you want to take in. Uh, and, and basically, when you send this form or these questions to the user, they get rendered as a, as a dialogue, uh, you know, that awaits for user input. Uh, and and uh, it's it's basically like you know a web form, but but conversational through chat, and uh, you're asking users questions and saving the responses. Uh, so uh, this is really key, guys, uh, because. Uh, this is uh, something that's very difficult to do in, in, in email marketing. Uh, the segmentation capabilities of, of chat is substantially better than, than, than uh, other channels. By asking users questions uh, like, are you an in-house advertiser or are you an agency, uh, this allows us to do, to do deep seg segmentation. Uh, and I can send, depending on how users answer the question, I can customize the conversation uh, and send users down different messenger funnels. And so. Uh, just, just take a minute here to, to think about how this is different from conventional advertising and, uh, and con 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 conventional uh, landing page optimization strategy. In, in, in landing page optimization strategy or, at, or, or online advertising, we, we, we have an audience, okay? And, you know, maybe it's like a Facebook audience or maybe it's like a list of emails. And we, we make assumptions. We say, I think that this audience is going to be interested in this offer. But you don't really know. Like, it's just, it's just a Facebook audience that says, like, these are like mommies, you know, with like, you know, babies at home or something like this. Like, you don't know that they're going to be interested in this thing. You're assuming. You know, you could, using, using chat, this is the first time in marketing where you can really easily, you know, let the user provide their kind of, you know, self-describe their, their, their interests and their needs, uh, and then immediately respond to, 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 and reflect those, 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 those pain points in, into uh, kind of a more optimized solution. Um, so uh, using this power of segmentation where you ask users questions, what you do is you, you create different audiences or lists of people depending on how they answer different questions. So like in this case, the question was, are you an agency or an in-house marketer? I can create two, a list called like everyone who's, a, who's an agency marketer. Uh, and and, and there's, a, here, there's a list. And using that list, I can then use it for, for chat blasting, saying like, hey, I'm, I'm holding an agency growth summit for, for just for agencies like you. Uh, and then when you combine like the, the power of messaging with the power of segmentation, you end up getting these, these uh, really ridiculous outcomes, like an 85% open rate and, and, and you know, 30, 40 
40, 50% click rate. Um, so I think that's pretty exciting. Um, another thing that you can do is uh, you can pre-fill all the, all the form fields because they're already logged in with Facebook, so they already have your location, your um, you know, phone number, email, et cetera, and all they have to do is release that information to you. Um, that, that helps with like, eliminating some bogus e uh, emails. Uh, in terms of how, how do people navigate these experiences, uh, there's two ways to do this. There's button-based navigation or there's natural language processing. 99% of these experiences all are, use buttons. Uh, so a button is just like a phone tree where um, you, um, you know, call like a Home Depot or something. It says press one for sales, press two for service, press three for hours and directions, et cetera. This is uh, it's typically how you, you manage these types of things. Uh, I like buttons because it gives users a clear uh, idea of what they can expect in terms of the level of services. Uh, if you're feeling more ambitious, you can leverage uh, natural language processing for for your uh, navigation of these chat experiences. Um, that's where you ask an open-ended question. There's no menu, kind of like Google's uh, Home or Siri or, or Alexa. You know, they don't have button menus. It's just asking, like, how can I help you today? And you might be wondering, oh, how the heck do you, how do you program this kind of stuff? It's, it's, it's actually super easy. All you do is as you're creating those dialogues, uh, you know, the chat dialogues, the, the, the content that you're creating, tag the content with keywords. Like we were working on a, a webinar registration page here. So we're going to just tag that with like words like register for the webinar or webinar registration. Uh, and then what happens is it's, it's um, when someone asks your, your company, uh, you know, for something where we infer the intent to be related to some of the triggers that you've previously defined, we'll properly you know, make that match using natural language processing uh, and, and serve the content that you've previously created. This is very similar to Google AdWords. In Google AdWords, you, you select keywords and you create ads, and Google matches the keywords and ads that you've created to, to the user queries that are being entered into a search engine. Same idea. Um, there's the kind of a conversational equivalent of a search query report. So this is, um, this is where you can kind of monitor, like, what are all the things that your bot is being asked uh, that you didn't have an answer for? And, and the reason why this is important is because uh, in order to pr pr improve the experiences, you would want to create content that's related to, you know, what people are actually asking. And typically, there's like an 80-20% rule. Like, it's always like, you know, what, what time do you close? What's your refund policy? Et, et cetera, et cetera. You just, just create that content. Um, it's not totally automated. You can jump into these, these conversations at, at, at any time. Uh, it does, that's called a live operator takeover. And, and when that happens, it's just like reverting to the old system when it was fully manual. Uh, you, just, you just talk to the user through, through messaging. Um, uh, and and when, while you're doing that, the bot, bots typically shut themselves up so that they're only talking to one person and not like a robot and a person. Um, OK, so that's uh, kind of the bot basics. I wanted to give you a couple tips on how to ch chat blast like a master blaster. Um, by the way, these images take forever to create, so like I, ca I, ca I, can't, <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe no one's like loving them. Um, so, <laughs> uh, uh, so the worst thing you can ever do is just take your email blasts and dump them into a message and send and fire away because because it's a different channel and, and there's you know different best practices and, and um, I, I want to give you a couple tips on how to be a master blaster like me. Uh, and, and, and basically, uh, you, the key is to employ conversational, uh, conversational um, tactics that are employed by salespeople, like, like as if you walked into a store and you you're talking to a, a customer service agent. And so one of them is this notion of uh, uh, the principle of, of, of consistency. So like, so like, say I'm like a, I don't know, a fundraising person. I'm trying to raise money for some cause. And I say like, hey, Eric, how are you doing today? Well, Eric, I'm glad you're, you're doing great, but the problem is a lot of people aren't doing great today. And in Syria, there's a refugee crisis, and there a lot of, there's a lot of suffering here. Do you want to help them have a great day, too? So what I just did here is I've used a, a principle called consistency, and that is uh, by making Eric affirm that he's, you know, doing great today, um, he's actually more likely to want to make other people feel great. You know, conversely, had he said, I'm having a terrible day, the, the breakfast was like, was awful, and, and you know, there was, you know, you know, all these AV problems, and, you know, like, then, then he's going to say, 
he's, he's going to be less likely to want to help. Like, if he's suffering, why the heck should, should anyone else not be suffering? You see what I'm saying? So, like, it's a very simple principle, but what you do is you just get users to affirm certain truths so that you can, you can take them along a, a, a journey, a conversation. And so here I'm just trying to sell some chat marketing videos. Um, you know what? It doesn't even matter what you say. I'm going to still try to sell you those chat marketing videos. But, like, the, the, the question I'm asking is, like, when it comes to chat marketing, are you a beginner, intermediate, or advanced? Okay, and depending on, on how you, you know, choose, uh, I will reflect my conversation to, to uh, kind of be consistent and, and to be parallel to like what you've described, self-described as. So like, you know, oh, I'm a novice. Well, great news, I have a course for you. It's, it's built specifically for novices and step-by-step -step path, blah, blah, blah. And, 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 and these type little, little tips and tricks actually have an, uh, an enormous uh, kind of compounded um, impact on, on, on chat conversion rates. Uh, a, a second conversational principle, and there's dozens of these, I just wanted to highlight how this is different from email marketing, how it's conversational. A second uh, tactic has to do with uh, the, this principle of reciprocity, uh, so, or, or, or reciprocal concessions. Uh, and that, that, that simply means, like, if, I if the customer perceives that you are trying to be more reasonable, they in turn will reciprocate that feeling of reason reasonableness by trying to do you a solid as well. Uh, so um, the, the, the classic example of this is, if you have a kid and the kid asks, like, hey, dad, can I have an Xbox? And you're like, no. Can I have a ping pong table? And you're like, no way. And then he's like, can I have a cookie? And they're like, oh, OK, fine, you can have a cookie. Uh, so that's like, you know, I'm, I'm kind of being guilt tripped into giving him a cookie because I feel like he's being more reasonable. Uh, and, and this is um, kind of a conversion trick that you can apply. It's where you, 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 have, you anchor on, on a high price point, like, hey, here's a, here's a chat training course for marketers, it's 199, what do you think of the price? And like 99% of people will, will say like, it's too expensive, but that's okay, because you then, you then walk it back. You say, you know what, you know, you're, you're totally right, that, that's, that's way overpriced. Uh, would you like a 94% discount code to get, this, to get this for like, you know, nine bucks? And now you're like, you're anchored on this 199 price tag, you think you just got this deal, and you're, you're gonna be more likely to, to buy this stuff. And so, the power of conversational commerce uh, is that this allows us to, to engage in tried and true salesmanship strategies employed by you know, regular salespeople that we were never really able to employ in our ads, emails, or landing pages because there was never any expectation of interact back and forth interaction. Um, so I wanted to give you a couple tips on how to grow your contact list because just like email marketing, um, the, uh, this is a lot more fun if you have hundreds of thousands of subscribers versus like, you know, 10 subscribers. So uh, the, the good news is it's never been easier to, to grow your subscriber list today. Um, you know, in, in the olden days of marketing when I was getting started, we, we had these squeeze pages that we would drive traffic to and try to get people to, to cough up their email address so that we could, you know, email market them, you know, drip campaigns and, and, and newsletters and, and, and stuff like this forever in perpetuity. Um, the the problem with the, that is you know email it's like five percent open rates and and, uh, and and the cost of driving traffic to these landing pages are very very high um, so today the the, the goals post has shift a little bit if you ask me a better strategy would be to try to get people to message your business so that you could obtain the necessary business uh, the messaging permissions so that you could re-engage and and uh, engage in conversation with these with these customers uh, so um, uh, the, the, what we're not going to do is just wait for people to message your page because that's like, you know, that'll take forever. You'll, you'll end up with like 45 leads a, a month or something like that. Uh, the, the, um, uh, uh, there's a couple uh, kind of lead magnets for like kind of growing your, your contact list. And basically, it's, there's strategies to bait users into to messaging your, your company, basically. Uh, so one of them is called a, a, a comment guard. And so what this is, it's, it's a really cool tool where um, if someone posts a comment on one of your posts, you then privately respond to, to that user uh, through Messenger. And they become a, if they respond to that, engage with that private response, they, they become a, um, a contact. Uh, so 
this is a lot, like I've been experimenting with different types of content. Instead of just po posting like, hey guys, here's my blog post, uh, I, I've made it more conversational. So like I, here's a crazy example. It's like the battle of the English and the math. You know, one rabbit saw six elephants, you know, holding two parrots, going to the river, you know, blah, 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 blah. How many animals are going to the river? So it's, 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 a, it's a quiz question, and, and, and I'm just saying like, post your guess, and I'll send you an ex the answer and an explanation privately uh, through Messenger, uh, you know, if, if, if you comment. And so this thing, it generated 57, uh, 57 uh, commenters. Uh, and so one of the cool things about this is that because of how the machine learning works for exposure on the, on the Facebook newsfeed algorithm, this actually gets a lot of organic exposure because it's, it's looking for content that has interactions. Um, and, and then, of course, if, if, if something's doing really well, you can... Um, you can uh, boost these posts uh, to, to generate even more, uh, more contacts. Um, uh, here's, an, uh, here's another example of engaging your audience instead of just saying, like, I'm the greatest, blah, blah, blah. Like, uh, this is a realtor example. The, the realtor's asking a question. This house was listed by Unicorn Realty for $100,000. Can you guess what it sold for? Type in your, your, your answer in the comments, and we'll send you the actual price as well as a market assessment for this for this neighborhood. Uh, and then so so that's where you would create a, uh, if if someone then um, you know responds, we would send them the correct answer as well as a PDF file with with the market assessment guide for for that neighborhood. So like that's totally more valuable than and more engaging than just just you know planting. Uh, static content to your to your newsfeed, which is never going to get the engagement to, to, to be visible in the first place. But this this will generate the comments, which will make it visible, uh, and and around and around we go. Um, so how do you set up these comment guards? It's pretty simple. You just choose the post that you want to apply the comment guard to. You specify a frequency cap, and that's important because you don't want to keep sending the same thing over and over if they if they respond you know twice in the same day or whatever. Uh, and and then you just choose uh, uh, is this applying to every comment on your page? On your page, or or, or to specific, uh, you know, specific posts, and um, and that's how that works. Uh, there's a couple other growth tools. One of them's uh, you know landing pages, so you can set up landing pages that you know, instead of having these long form fields, you can just have all those uh, those uh, single click buttons, where if they just press one button, you know, you receive all their contact information like first name, last name, gender, uh, location, time zone, language, um, you know, location. And, and, and of course, messaging permissions. Um, so that's, that's kind of the, the, the most important thing. Um, and and uh, those do very well uh, as well. They do particularly well on mobile. Um, and that's, that's what those, those look like. Um, and, and another one uh, that's very popular is just website chat. Uh, so just, uh, you know, the problem with website chat is that it's, it's usually anonymous. Like people will, will chat with you. You have no freaking clue who they are or how to reconnect with them. Uh, with with like a, a Facebook uh, chat, you, you you immediately convert that that visitor into a lead because you get all their personal information uh, as well as messaging p permissions to to talk to them. Um, and um, you know, uh, so so, so those, those are some of the key ways to, to grow your list. Uh, they're not not rocket science. Uh, there is another one called uh, Facebook Messenger ads that I want to just talk to you briefly about. It's a pretty fantastic. Um, uh, new ad format that's been around for just over a year now. Um, so for me personally, I, uh, I was a big cheerleader of, of Facebook ads, but the, the prices have gone up a lot. Uh, so audiences uh, that um, were, uh, uh, <laughs> no one likes these slides. Uh, the, the audiences that I used to pay like a dollar or two dollars per thousand impressions are today, uh, you know, hundreds, a hundred dollars or one hundred fifty dollars. And, and and the problem is that the prices are going up, you know, twenty, thirty percent a quarter, and that. You know that's problematic because every one percent increase in, in cost per click is a one percent decrease in, in return on investment for you or your customers. And so I've changed the way that I do Facebook ads. Uh, I've eliminated these donkeys and, and I use this new ad format called Send to Messenger uh, Ads. And basically, it's very similar to Facebook ads, except that when you click on that ad, instead of going to a, a landing page on your website, it sends them directly into my Messenger funnels, into my Messenger dialogues. So. The interesting thing about this is that when they click the button, I get all the information and messaging permissions. Okay, so um, that's fundamentally different from 
sending them to a web page and hoping that you know three, four, five percent of people will actually convert on that page. So um, you can think of these as kind of like magical 100% conversion uh, ads because I get everyone's information for everyone who clicks on this stuff, uh, and um, that's eliminating the most leaky stage of the funnel uh, by uh, uh, by just eliminating it. So. Um, you know, the, again, the, the cool thing about this is you can um, really use these uh, messenger ads as kind of like like redirectors. So redirectors meaning like you ask a couple of qualifying questions of the user, and then depending on you know how they answer, you then send them to the appropriate offer. Um, you know, so um, that's reducing um, it's reducing a, a, a assumptions. You're actually you know trying to f find out for sure. Um, and, and, and basically, um, just how to set these up, you just go into Business Manager, you choose the, 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 the Messenger ad format, uh, you create the copy as you would normally. Uh, the only difference is that um, instead of sending them to a landing page, you have to design one of those dialogues uh, that I was showing you before, how we, like, we created a, a webinar registration, like using static co content and, and dynamic content. So you create a, a, a dialogue uh, to send them to, uh, and then, um, you then link together the the ad with the dialog by copying the the the, the link, the, like the URL of the of the chat dialog. I can give you an example of, of how this looks. Um, it's basically, it's. Um, uh, hang on a second. The animation is not uh, playing, but um, basically. It, it, it would have just gone through this um, this chat flow uh, pretty easily, and it ends up sending people to, to a website anyways. But but uh, at that point, uh, I already have all their registration information, uh, even if they they don't fill out the form. Okay, um, so. After, you, after someone clicks, you get all their contact information, first, last name, location, you know, profile photo, everything like that. Uh, Facebook provides that to you. And um, they become a messenger contact, which means you can set up a drip campaign with like, you know, after 20 minutes, send them this message. After, after an hour, send them like a, an invitation to join your Facebook group. You know, after, after you know, 12 hours, send them an upsell. Um, and and uh, those are, that's uh, an email strategy that's used that, that also works for, uh, for messaging. Um, you can sync the data to your, to your CRM using like Zapier or something like that. Um, you, can do, you can do remarketing based on conversational criteria. So depending how users answered the various questions that you asked, you can like package that up into an audience, you know, dump that into Facebook ads, and just do like an Instagram remarketing campaign or something like that. Um, and you can do chat blasts to those people based on their interests. Uh, and, and what we're seeing is we're able to get outcomes that I just haven't seen for like six, six years. So like typically, um, you know, if you're doing lead gen in, in, in competitive US markets that are like $150 CPMs, it's gonna be like $200, $200 or $300 a, a lead. Uh, but but in, in, in messenger ads, you can get them for three to five bucks because you get the, the contact information for everyone who clicks on, on the ad, basically. Uh, so, so, the, so it's just like, uh, you know, using all these, all these tactics, uh, we can, um, you know, come up with leads that are more qualified, you know, more engaged, and, um, uh, you, know, at, at a, at, you know, maybe uh, 10 times cheaper than conventional Facebook ads. Uh, and um, the cool thing about this is that chat is kind of a personal space. So as your robot is kind of engaging with customers through messaging, you're actually building up, like, kind of like, branding, you know, familiarity points with, with the users. Uh, and we know that people tend to favor buying from the brands and, um, you know, companies that they've heard of and interacted with uh, in, in the past. Um, so, guys, we talked a lot about messaging. Uh, why? Because, you know, obviously the, f the, the future uh, of Facebook isn't like the news feed stuff, so that's what we've been fo focusing on, on, on Facebook Messenger marketing. Um, the, you know, we talked a lot about, uh, you know, Basics of how to set up these bots, um, you know how to how to increase, you know how to do chat blasting, how to you know employ psychological hacks in your copy, messenger ads, and, and so much more. Um, thank you for joining me on this epic journey from Donkey Land to Unicorn Land. I wanted to just wrap it up here in terms of um, you know kind of giving you the big picture. Uh, what does this all mean? Um, in general. Uh, there's more daily active users on messaging platforms today 
uh, than there is on social media, yet less than 1% of companies have any ability of marketing directly to those users on those messaging platforms. Um, you know, Messenger has over 1.3 billion daily active users, um, and um, the, engage the engagement rates are about, about 100 times better than what you typically see on, on, e on email marketing. Um, and and, and uh, you know, that's a, there's a profound you know, generational shift communica in, in communication preferences well underway. Like people overwhelmingly prefer messaging over email as, as their, their way of communicating with people. Um, and so, um, and, and, and face it was leaked earlier this year that Facebook is, is integrating um, you know, Messenger with Instagram and WhatsApp, and you know, I, I get, I get that there's an objection. Like, what if my, my my company, my customers don't use Messenger? But like, you know, a year from now, these are these these three things are going to be integrated. And like, you know, what customer doesn't have either a WhatsApp, app, you know, or an Instagram or a Messenger account? I mean, if they don't have them, like, are they really that valuable a customer? Um, and, and and basically. Um, uh, hopefully, I was uh, showing you today like chatbots. I think a lot of people think of it as a customer service uh, technology, but uh, the way I view it is more as a top of the funnel technology for 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 blasting out content, for qualifying leads, for doing online advertising, for doing lead routing and assignment and live chat. Uh, so it's it's more like a, a top and middle of funnel technology, which I think is, will be essential for marketers going forward. Um, thank you so much, Eric and Neil, for inviting me for this conference and putting it on. Uh, please go to uh, bit.ly slash marketing school 2019 to get a free free copy of the of the slides here. And the coolest thing is you'll get to see it sent to you via a messaging application. Uh, thank you so much, everyone.